Good morning. Today is Tuesday. Can't think of a day off the top of my head. I've got these Elemis eye patches on. I'm in a massive rush. We have a photo shoot today. Once Hubsy's dropped them off at school, as soon as he's back, we have to go to the studio. We have a photo shoot planned for the new Pal Daisy scarf. Super duper exciting. And for that, we're doing something totally different. It's a nice tip, I think, for anyone who is running a project, not even necessarily just a business or a business owner. So what we're doing is we're trying to fill the holes of talent in this company because we have been trying to find people who are creative, who can use their own initiative. This is the Arde Flawless Concealer 2. We are on limited stock with these concealers. But oh, by the way, plus I have the new Arde lip colours came in. These are the final uh, samples for these lip colours which came in yesterday. I'm super excited. I've only opened this one. I need to open these and go through them and check them. So if I have time, I'll do it on here. If not, I'll have to do it later. Anywho, this is the concealer which I like to use under my brows to shape them and for the eye base. So, anywho. Yes, today we're doing this photo shoot for the Pal Daisy scarves. Now, I am going to be training a girl today. She turned up to the last Pal Daisy open call for models. And through various things that she did, I was convinced that she would make a really good apprentice of sorts. And that we should train her to have a bit more responsibility beyond being a model. So today is sort of like her interview day, though she doesn't know. I'm a huge believer in raw talent and in people showing what they can do more than just talking about what they do or being able to draw up a great CV. So I wanna see how she does today on today's shoot. Today we're not gonna have Hubsy do the photography for years, it has been just Hubsy and I doing the photos. A large part of that was because Pal Daisy was spending its budget on other things. This business was started with 50 pounds of my own. I was a teacher on maternity leave. Hubsy had just been made redundant. And so, and I didn't know that it would turn into a thing, into a business. And I didn't know that we you know might grow it and that we would turn it into something really really an integral part of our lives and our our bread and butter so i just put my own 50 pounds into it at the time and it grew from there we never really applied for a loan it just grew off its own grew off its own profits and that's just continued to be how it's been through the years so the way that we spent our budget we just wanted to make it grow steadily and not do anything that was that we couldn't handle because business you know business can become a dirty game and we're not we're just not dirty players we've never been that way so we just wanted to keep you know, we had so many people come who wanted to advise us, who wanted to get involved, who wanted a piece of the company. It was like, through the years, so much has happened. By the way, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Colour Chameleon Bewitching Black. Anywho, so we never did take anyone up on their offer. We remained partners with the company. I'm just doing this roughly because I'm going to go over with eyeshadow. And so we, went, we just grew it slowly and steadily. And really reinvested most of the profit back into inventory and back into things that we really needed to make the company grow. We hired people and as you find with the company, some people are a good fit and some people aren't. And it's, it's just been a really great journey. So a lot of our budget was spent by the time it came to photographing the products, which is the most important part. But because at the time social media didn't have all these algorithms and all these, um, I guess all this control in place. I find it a lot more controlled by 
whoever it is that controls these things. We found that it was just easier to reach the people that we were talking to, the connection was more fluid, and now it's very hit and miss. Like I'll, I'll get people who really don't know the business um, who are following and so you know that first impression really counts they don't know that Pearl Daisy is a small business and that you know we've grown in this way etc so I think it's really important at this point in time to this is natural tonight to invest into other areas so we are outsourcing the photography we've got a model who's coming as well just a standard model that the photographer had in his portfolio this is really just the first time we're trying this it's really a big part of training for this new girl that we're going to be training and her name's Aisha by the way I shouldn't say that not this new girl you are going to meet her today hopefully if she turns up you know there's always a little part of me that's like are they going to turn up because I've, I've held interviews for people for some really great positions in the company and people haven't turned up it's been like it's been a really interesting journey to say the least anyway so I'm going to take stiletto just on my finger and I'm going to pop it over the top now this is usually how I do my makeup for photo shoots which is going to be pretty heavy on the eyes and also pretty heavy on the lips as well I just tend to always do my photo shoot makeup like that. It tends to photo quite well with the studio lighting on me. And it's gonna look really messy and crazy right now, by the way, because actually I need to hurry up. I need to be fast. See, this is what happens. I can't be fast and talk at the same time. But yeah, I tend to do this because it's super fast. And usually these photo shoots that we do in the morning, we like to start off ASAP, well today we have it booked and the model's going to turn up at half nine um, because we like to get these finished off before the kids finish school so there we go got the eyeshadow on and I'm going to clean up around the eyes a bit later I know it looks really really crazy right now but that's just how I do it. <laughs> That's just, I'm going to take a bit of peachy and just blend out up here as well. Actually, no, I'm not. Let me just finish that. I'm going to take some from Smokey. I quite like nude from Smokey to blend out these colours. They look really good on camera. A nice, bright brow bone. I also tend to do this because for some reason this look just goes on all the scarves. Like, I can keep the same makeup look whether the scarf is a light one or a dark one. And regardless of the colour as well. So far, so. Okay. Yeah? Oh, coming. What are you eating, babe? I don't know, what do you want? This is a Kat Von D cake liner. In a tight line and draw along the waterline. Should we just have scrambled egg? Love book, what fruit would you like, darling? Ow, don't put my out. I've got some grapes. Do you want grapes? Lena Boo? I didn't even have a taste of it. I had two of those. I had two. We had them. Honey Bunny? You should have saved one for me. What happened, honey? You should have saved one for me. You should have saved one for me. There's no pie chocolate, I bought so much, but that's okay. We had guests over, remember, and all the boys must have had it. They gobbled it up. No, Ibrahim had two. Yeah, that's okay. He that's not okay. You can have two too. Well, because he had maybe two, he there's could not have, that much left. Yeah, actually, maybe he could have asked. How about when there's not very many left that we ask the other people around if they would like one too? Me and Dad would normally do that with each other. 
Maybe we can extend that to you guys as well. What do you think, little bug? Because one day you might want something that runs out. Buns, what do you want for fruit? Mm. I've got grapes today if you'd I don't like. I don't want anything. Not even carrot? No. Mm. How come? I don't want anything. Not in the mood? Mm. Do you think you might be in the mood later when you're at school? Mm, no. Don't you get hungry, honey? No. What do you do if you don't eat fruit then while everyone else is? I just sit down and just speak to people and stuff like that. You feel like socialising? Mm. What if I put like one little carrot bit? No. Instead of, you know, normally I'd have full carrot. No. What if I put three little sticks? No. No? Okay, baby, it's up to you. Love bug? Babe, shall we have some scrambled egg? Thank you. Love bug, what would you like for fruit? Carrot, I've got some grapes today if you want. Okay. Oh, well, well, you know, Mickey's is about to drink me and Bibs chocolate. <laughs> Where's me glue? <laughs> Where's me glue? Here it is. Here's this glue. Mickey. Mickey, then, <laughs> Honey Buns, what are you looking forward to today? You've got pee today, right? Mm, yeah. Anything else you're looking forward to today? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Uh, yeah, I do. You do know? Yeah, I do know, Mama. You know what we did yesterday and you know I want to do it again. Oh, slime making? Yeah. Another slime project? Yeah. Well, we need to get some eye drops, don't we? We're going to get some eye drops after school and then we're going to get some shaving foam after school. Well, we I can't promise that today. Yes, you can can't promise it'll happen today because, why do you think? Because I told you, remember promise. we're going for a photo shoot. Hey. <gasps> that was a deceptive promise. But I will try though, okay? Okay, that was asked for me. Before. Leave it with me. Let me figure it out. We had brekkie. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I'll do. I'm gonna sort out my love bug's carrot now. Let this dry. Back in a sec, have my brekkie. Hopefully he's taking the kids to school and he said that we need to leave as soon as he's back, so I need to get a move on. Oh, okay. Right, so. Let's clean up. Okay, this is the Lancome Camouflage Concealer in shade 320 Bisque or 04 Beige. Gonna correct with this. Just neaten up under the eyes as well. With this, like so. And then, I'm gonna take my foundation. Where? Yes, okay, so I'm going to take the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, herbs and rose water. Wet that a bit more. I'm going to take my concealer. I'm going to try the Cinema Secrets Ultimate Foundation in shade 304. I ordered this from, where did I order it from? I can't remember where, maybe Amazon? Mix it up. This is really thick stuff, so what I'm going to do is also take my spray and just spray in there. 
loosen it up a bit. It's quite thick, this stuff. But on camera, you shouldn't really be able to tell. Because studio lights tend to wash a lot of stuff out including the thickness looking finish of foundations that's why you find on a lot of instagram makeup tutorials heavy, heavier foundations are used because a lot of people now use lighting and you know pro cameras and stuff this is just a dior concealer brush I don't have time to be super neat with this, so I just need to get a move on. Before he went, obviously he went, when I get back, we need to leave. So that gives me about 15 minutes to be fully ready and leave. I'm gonna leave this top on, because I tend to wear a white or a light coloured top for photo shoots. Okay, go into the corners there. take a lighter colour of the same foundation. Let's try with 302. It's lightening it ever so slightly, which is fine for now, because I will use another lighter concealer in a bit after I've set the makeup. Use some lip balm first. Mm, set with my favourite powder, Chanel Translucent. I use this all the time. If you've been watching me long enough, you'd have seen this in like pretty much every tutorial. So I'm just going to buff that into the skin. Cream foundations do tend to need setting and they are a very heavy product. I definitely do not recommend, even if you like the look of them, I do not recommend that you use them every day because they tend to have a high oil content as well. And the key to a good skincare routine is to have oil control. It's to kind of train or teach your skin to not get too oily. Even if your skin is dry, right? Because oily is not never the goal. And I don't mean oily as in the look of oiliness, as in if you use a lot of highlighter. I mean the actual oils that your skin produces. And so what I do is I'm not a fan of putting oil on the skin or skincare and leaving it. I use it for makeup removal. So I'll put it on and then I'll take a warm muslin cloth, damp muslin cloth, and wipe off. I do not leave the oil on because oiliness is one of the big contributors to aging skin not that you've got oily skin but an Im improper or an unbalanced production of oil can be what ages the skin and what essentially damages the skin and causes hyperpigmentation as well okay because I've used a lot of that spray, it doesn't seem to look very cakey at all. Okay, this is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. What I'm gonna do with this is, I am going to go like this, really highlight these areas, and I'm dabbing on, so I don't drag on the powder underneath. 
this just helps to sculpt the face even more because we're using studio lighting it can take away the contours of the face so I do tend to go pretty heavy on the contouring which you'll see in a second as well which looks kind of crazy in real life I think <laughs> on me <laughs> but it works on camera so now I'm just dabbing and not dragging this just adds that pop of highlight under the eye If I put my concealer on like that, in a sort of upward motion, it gives the appearance of lifted eyes as well. Gives you that sort of big doe-eyed shape. Contour colour on. This is Continuity in the shade Bone 6. This is a super cheap product from Cult Beauty, which I showed you guys. When did I show it to you? I think last year at some point. I think it was in my Eid gift guide video actually. I think it's on sale now as well, on their website. I really like this colour, it's pretty intense. But, like I said, for these photo shoots, I do tend to go overboard with the contouring, as you can see. Oh, I forgot to put liquid liner over the lash band. That I need to do, because that will show up on camera otherwise. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Oh, let's do my eyes first. Okay, I'm going to use the Benefit Roller Lash Liner. Just going over the band there. Do you know what, actually? I'm going to take brown pencil. I'll take the Charlotte Tilbury bronzed garnet, put that under the waterline there along the lashes and then go over that. I think it will be more intense that way on camera. Take stiletto again and then go over that pencil. For blush I'm going to take jewels and take rose quartz, pinky shade like a nice pink. I usually go for pink blusher on photo shoots. I don't know why I feel like it looks really nice. Almost forgot lower lash mascara very important my lower lashes have grown longer and there's more of them since I started using that serum top have as well but it's way more noticeable my lower lashes like they never used to go do you see how low they're going they never used to go that low so they've definitely grown okay that's everything I need to pack this away and do the lips oh my god so exciting i haven't even opened the other ones yet we finalized the colors and everything this is the final kind of final yes okay we are good to go on these with this packaging so i've already taken out there are four colors this one's warm nude I don't know how well you guys can see, but these are so easy to put on and so much more hydrating than 
most of the liquid lipsticks that I own. Love, 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 love. So this one is Warm Nude. It's a bit dodgy, I know. I don't have time to put it on properly, but... You know what, guys? I'm going to have to show you the rest later, I think. I'll show you the rest tonight. I'm really sorry. I'm not going to have time. The one I'm going to put on is Rose. So it comes like this sealed in a package and of course it's going to refuse to come off because I'm in a rush now. So this one's rose and it is a rosy pink colour. This is the kind of colour that Paula who is my business partner for our day, would mix together for her brides for photo shoots, or for their wedding day rather, because it looks really good on camera and with an intense eye. And she would kind of mix up her own little concoction of colors to this particular shade. So that's why we were like, okay, let's make it into an actual product. There we go. What do you guys think? The colour drops a notch. Did you notice when I first put it on it was a lot brighter and then it drops and it just settles and this is a final rose. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yes? Sorry, I'm coming. I'm going to take these pictures. I'll show you guys the other two. Hopefully later. I get time there or when I get back. Okay, so I showed you guys two colors earlier. I showed you warm nude and I showed you rose. So let me show you classic red and peony. Let me show you peony first, actually. Classic red is my favorite. So rose was a deep rosy color, like I said. Peony is a lighter shade. Ooh, I love this. Damn. Okay, I'm kind of falling in love with this one. Even more. So before it dries, you do have a little bit of time. Kind of rub your lips together if you like doing that. I just have a habit. Paula's always telling me not to. <laughs> Because it can change if you've got lipstick on, it can move it around too much. But with this, it seems to be fine. Now for the classic red. Oh. Okay, this is the red that we've been using in various shoots. So my, you know, the We Can Do It poster shoot, we use this red. So check out this red. Oh my gosh, I love it. Do you see how I'm using the tip to just draw? Wow. Yeah? Can you just tell me what you think of my lip colour? Can you peek your head in? Nice. It looks proper good quality. Hmm. It's like designer quality. Well, it is our day. Designer quality. But with that, the designer prices. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go get the kids? Yeah. Do you know what, actually? What? I'll put the kettle on. I'll make the tea now and get some food ready for them. Yeah. Well, I'll do the bathroom after you know what? I'm going to cleanse my face first. I think I want to get all of this off. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Wait, I have to do one more thing. Ready? If you don't like the look of false eyelashes being pulled off, look away now. I find something strangely satisfying about this. 